All right, the baby parade, kicking it off, wearing the holy cow sweater, Bernard and the Valor. <laughs> Is this kid so cute? Hey, buddy. Merry Christmas, man. He's like, <laughs> love you. And then we have little Liliana Fair, the belle of the ball. She's wearing a bow designed by Tiffany. <laughs> ah! Bruna, oh. Okay, which one's which? We have twins here. Levi and Luke. Luke and Levi. Oh my goodness, we've got presents for you. One for you, Baba. You want it? You want to say it? Come on, let's say hi. Say hi, everyone. We've got a. We have someone on the mic here. Did that? And we've got a different There you go, buddy. Say Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thank you. Say Jesus. Oh, he's, he's gripping this tight. Oh, Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. I'm going to move out of the way. Yeah, we'll take pictures right there. That'd... All right. Oh, my God, so beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. Hi, precious princess. Hi, precious princess. Would that be good? We go. love you, Sophia. She knows. She knows we love the DeMarco family. All right. You got it? Did right you get it? Here. Egan. Egan. Give it up for Egan. We love you, Baba. You need a you need a gift. Go ahead, Santa. Santa Jeff. Love you. Love you. This one looks like Egan. It kind of looks like it. The Bang families, we love you guys so much. Oh my. Oh! Here. Egan, Egan. So sweet. And our sweet Grace. Oh, Hannah. Look at you, princess. They're all about the same, babe. All right, matches your dress. Mommy, you get a photo. Oh, are they so cute? That, that uh, sums up our baby parade this year. Next year, it'll be double that size. Be fruitful and multiply. All right, so now we're going to have the kids program. So... If you parents, you want to have your, your cameras ready, that's, that's fine. We're going to be taking pictures down front of all the kids, and we'll make sure that we post those and make those available to you. So don't feel like you got to run up front. Uh, we'll, we'll create a Google Drive link and send that over to everybody. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and make our way up. So if somebody in the back can tell the kids to come on in, we are ready for them. Lacey. All right. Thank you for joining us today. We're so glad that you could be here. We wanted to talk about some of the stuff we see at Christmas time. Let's start with the evergreen tree. An evergreen tree has a very appropriate name. It is evergreen, which means always green. It does not become dormant in the winter as other trees do. The color green represents new life, and the needles of the evergreen are always pointing up to heaven. It symbolizes our everlasting life with Jesus Christ. We should always be as the evergreen tree, always full of life, never becoming dormant in our life with Christ as our arms are lifted up to heaven. The Bible says in John 6, the bread of God is the one who comes down from heaven. He gives life to the world. Ornaments are used to decorate Christmas trees each and every year. People look for the perfect ones to fit on their tree. Our Christmas tree just wouldn't seem complete without our ornaments. Ornaments can symbolize the blessings in our lives. Our lives just wouldn't be complete without God's blessings. Everything that we have is due to God loving us so much that he wants to shower us with his blessings just as ornaments are all different shapes and sizes. Blessings are all different as well. God picks and chooses each blessing for us so that it will bring, be just right. 
the next time you decorate your tree and as you put each ornament, think of the blessings that God has given you. I think you will find that you run out of ornaments before you can run out of blessings. Deuteronomy 16:17 says, Every man shall give as he is able according to the blessings of the Lord, your God that he has given you. Okay, the reef has its evergreen branches bent in a circle so that the ends touch, so the ends touch have no beginning or end, just as there is no beginning or end of Jesus' internal love for us. Just as the reef looks the same throughout and seems do not, to not change, so he will always be the same. Hebrews 13.8 tells us Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. The reef. Lights and candles are used to give light. When a room is full of darkness, it is dark. But if you light a single match in a dark room, the room is light. There may be more darkness, but the light overpowers it. We are that light. We can be a single light in a world of darkness. We must share our light with the world so that the light increases. Matthew 5, 14 and 15 says, You are the light of the world. The city set on a hill cannot, a hill cannot be hidden, nor or do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. These days, the world has forgotten the reason for Christmas. Most people think that getting presents is the greatest thing about Christmas, and others think that presents have nothing to do with Christmas. Well, they're both wrong. The wise men went to, to see Jesus as a young child. As a young child. Um, and then they gave him presents. They gave him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. They gave him gold as king paying tribute, frankincense as God for the honor of God with the smoke of incense, and myrrh for a man that should die for myrrh was, using, was used in embalming dead bodies. These men, these wise men, saw that he is king, is God, and that he would lay down his life for the sins of the world. How can anyone with this knowledge not believe? Matthew 2.11, it says, The wise men went to the house. There they saw the child oh, with their mother Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures. They gave him gold, incense, and myrrh. <laughs> The star is a heavenly sign of prophecy, fulfilled ages ago, the shining hope for all mankind. The star led the wise men to find the baby Jesus. These wise men traveled many miles following a star in the sky. The star was there guiding light to the Savior. God was kind of like the wise men's travel agent, leading them to the greatest destination known to man, the Savior. We now have his word as our guiding light to lead us to be with him in heaven. Are you going to follow him? Matthew 2, 9 through 10 says, And behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them until it came and stood over where the young child was when they saw the star with exceedingly great joy.
Can we give it up for our kids this morning? Let's give it up for our kids. Woo! 